Vlad Zola here with an idea. So if you've been watching my channel, you'll know that when I was in New York City last week, I was able to meet up with Ricky War, the Puerto Rican Piper, and Smooth Piper. Uh, Peter and Ricky were able to uh, basically sit with me for about an hour and uh, smoke a couple of bowls and uh, chat. And I walked away from that experience, um, kind of energized about the YTPC and energized around the idea of YTPC meetups. So, I have an idea. So, I have an idea. And I have done something that I'm hoping will catch on within the YTPC. I know there's a lot of talk around meetups in the Nashville area, um, Old Pops, Cherry on Top. They're all thinking about doing uh, kind of a Nashville area meetup. And I travel a lot for business. Um, uh, as an example, next week I'm going to San Diego. So if you're in the San Diego area, I'd like to know that. I'd like to be able to reach out to you and I would like to be able to maybe meet up for a uh, smoke. <clears throat> and who knows, maybe a drink, um, if that's how you roll. So it dawned on me that, you know, what we really need in the YTPC is a map, a map of where everybody is or at least a map of everybody that is interested in meetups um, can go to and see who's in which city so that when you're traveling or uh, when you're trying to find out who's close to you, you have a general idea of uh, where those YTPC members are. So what I've done is I've created a Google map and um, I'll give the URL. It is ytpc.roadglidesully.com. Now, there's a couple of caveats. One is, and I'm going to show you a tutorial video after this on how to go to that map, add your location or add you on the map, and then also add your contact information, whatever contact information you're comfortable sharing. So the caveat is I've given everybody that has a link, has that link, access to, to modify. So you know, if somebody wants to troll and screw everything up, they can. Um, but my thought was, I want to throw something out there, um, if for no other reason than to generate some ideas on how the YTPC can get a little bit better at uh, creating actual connections. And I've had this conversation in a couple of chats and with a couple of uh, members, I think it's great that we have the opportunity to be part of this community. But I'm interested in actually getting to know people. I walked away from my meeting in New York with Ricky and with Peter with a deeper appreciation for who those gentlemen are. <clears throat> not just the pipes that they smoke, not just the, the tobaccos they like, but who they are, what they do, that kind of thing. So I've been generating some ideas, thinking about things um, that I can do on this channel or that I can do to help the YTPC make uh, better connections, so to speak, uh, with each other. And this is just one of the ideas that I have. I've got some more ideas that I'm thinking through um, that I'm, I may figure out how to implement once I get this uh, office build out done. That's kind of the, the main thing that I'm working on right now. So um, I'm gonna send you to the tutorial video where you can actually see the map that I've created. And you can see, I'll teach you how to Enter your own name and your email address if you would like to share that. Um, I, th I think it'd be a good idea, but that's just me. Um, I have a separate email address for my YouTube account, so I'm not worried about spam or anything like that. Um, but I think it might be a good way to facilitate people that travel, people that move from city to city, or even facilitate people that are in the area that you didn't even know were there. Um, uh, facilitate the ability to to meet up and uh, and or even share ideas about the local market that kind of thing so check out the tutorial and then I'll come back after the tutorial with a another uh, just kind of a wrap-up 
Okay, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're logged in to Google. You have to be logged in if you're going to change or add your location. So once you are logged in, you're going to, not in the search bar, but actually in the address bar, you're going to type in ytpc.roadglidesully.com. Again, that's ytpcroadglidesully.com. And that is going to take you to the YTPC map. This is where you can see all of the other YTPC members that have put their location in. So there's actually two maps. One is for brick and mortars, and the other is for members. And you can show either one of the layers. You'll notice there's a little blue line on the left side. That's the active map that you're looking at. You can look at both of them together, but you can switch back and forth. If you want to add a brick and mortar, you make sure the blue line is next to brick and mortar. If you want to add a member, you make sure that the member is selected. Okay, and also, once you're on the map view, if you want to look in a specific location, you can just type it into the search bar just like any other Google map, and it'll, it'll automatically zoom in, and then you can further zoom in, and you can look at the dropped pins. Now, you'll see that I don't actually live at that location, but that's where I put my pin, just so that you'll know that I'm in Austin, Texas. Um, I've also put my email address, um, which is optional. Um, I would ask that you don't put anybody else's email address in there. Um, only put your own, just in case somebody doesn't want to have their email address shared. So you can see here I searched for San Antonio. I found Eric Rana. Let's say that I am Eric Rana and I want to add my email address. I just click on edit and I type my email address in. And again, I would only add my own email address just in case somebody doesn't want to have their actual email address uh, shared. But it's probably a good way for people to reach out to you to find out where to meet up, if you want to meet up, or you know, good locations to go smoke. Now you'll see here if I want to delete somebody, um, I can just click on the trash can over on the right side and that'll completely wipe them off the map. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you're wanting to wipe yourself off the map, but you can. So this is how you add somebody. If you want to add somebody to the map, you zoom in on the location and you click this little drop pin or you add uh, a marker and you can just click anywhere on the map. It, and again, it doesn't have to be the exact location of where you are, just near the city. And then you can type the name in, and then you can type your email address in, and you hit save. It's as easy as that. And um, again, this way people can find you. You can put as much contact information as you want there. That's totally up to you. Um, again, only your own information goes in that box. So you can also add brick and mortars, and I thought that was an interesting little thing to add to this map. Because, you know, a lot of times when I travel, I want to find out where the best brick and mortars are. So here you'll see I'm searching for Churchills in Topeka, Kansas. Um, it will automatically find the location for brick and mortars. And then once you're there, all you have to do is click on the little add to map. And it'll automatically add that. But you also have to make sure that you click the brick and mortars and make sure that that is highlighted on the left side. That way it'll add it to that layer. So if people don't want to look at brick and mortars and they just want to look at members, then they can hide all of the brick and mortar locations. And you can see it adds Churchills to the list. And then if you zoom out on the map, you can now see that that location is highlighted. And you'll also notice that when that location is highlighted, it's also highlighted on the left side. So, you know, as you hover over the names on the left side, it'll highlight things. So this is me showing you just brick and mortars that I've added. Um, so if I don't want to see members, I'm just going to a town. It's a quick trip. All I want to do is find out which brick and mortar I can go to to look for tobacco. There you go. It's as simple as that. You can also go to their websites um, since you're finding an actual Google map location that's a business. So note that this also works on a mobile phone. So same URL, ytpc.roguelidesolely.com, and you should have almost all of the same functionality that you would have otherwise. You can zoom in on a particular location. You can 
look at individuals. You can look for brick and mortars. Same, same functionality as you would have on a web browser. So you can take it on the road with you. Now the last thing I want to show you is that it not only covers the US, it covers the entire map. So no matter where you're at, you should be able to add your information. Can you see me? So there you go, that's the tutorial. It's pretty simple. Again, the URL is ytpc.roguelidesoli.com and that will take you directly to that map. Um, so it'll automatically forward you there. A um, Couple of the caveats that I provided in the tutorial that I will reiterate. Share as much information as you'd like to or don't. Um, I would ask that you only put your own information on there um i don't necessarily mind i don't think it's a bad thing you guys tell me i don't think it's a bad thing to put another piper on there you'll see that i have already added a couple and those are the ones that i know that they're comfortable with sharing the general vicinities that they're in um and those are already out there on the map but um, i would ask that you don't put anybody else's personal information on there just to protect them if they don't necessarily want their information floating around. Um, but if you do, I think that would be a great way to facilitate um, that whole being able to connect with folks. Um, I put my email address out there. I'm happy to correspond with folks via email. It's a great way to get in contact with me. Um, it's uh, roguelidesoli at gmail.com, so it's pretty easy. Um, but if you do wanna put your contact information, go out there. Check out the tutorial again if you need a refresher. Drop your pin and put your name out there for people to uh, to get in contact with you. And again, I'm coming to San Diego next week. It's gonna be a short trip, but there might be an opportunity or at least a window of opportunity probably next Wednesday night, maybe. I haven't scheduled my trip yet, uh, but maybe Wednesday evening to do a meetup uh, and smoke a pipe together if you're in that area. Uh, if you're not comfortable with technology, by the way, feel free to send me your YouTube name. And I'm just keeping it to YouTube names on the map, by the way. Your YouTube name, your email address, if you'd like to share your email address, uh, and anything else that you wanna share uh, on that little map uh, marker. Send that information to me at roadblidesoli at gmail.com, and I'm happy to put it out there for you um, so that everybody else can see it. So again, make sure that you're logged in to Gmail or to a Google account before, which you should have a Google account if you're on YouTube, um, but make sure that you uh, are logged in before you go to look at the map if you wanna add. You can look at the map, you can go to that URL without being logged in and you'll still be able to see your location, others' locations, etc., including the brick and mortars. You just won't be able to modify anything. So if you wanna modify it or you wanna add yourself, or add a brick and mortar that you're familiar with, uh, you'll have to be logged in. So that is it, man. I'm real glad Tully. Keep the rubber side down.